What's going on, everybody? I'm Raw Star, and you're listening to The Misfit Effects. And I'm always joined with my beautiful co-host, who like is the max of the max, you know, who's always a joy to be around, Miss Sarah Lace. <laughs> Thank you. So today, we actually have someone really special and sexy and because you know this podcast isn't really about me even though I do like to uh, talk a lot this time we are going to actually be talking all about the sensational Kimmy Kim Mm -hmm. oh thank you thank you it's so good to be here (laughs) so Miss Kimmy Kim tell us uh tell us who, who is Kimmy Kim I am a proud Asian American female performer. I'm really happy right now that it's AAPI month and we're celebrating all the Asian Islander Americans. So yeah, that's that's me. <laughs> it just says that this episode won't go up until after that month the month ends. Cause this is this is we're recording this yeah. in May, y'all. So this mm-hmm. is going this is going up in June. So right now it's Asian American. And I believe all um, Asian Americans need the uh, need the honor of what they're doing because they're all great in every single facet. Ah, and um, yeah, I'm sorry, I just hit my desk. Um, in every every single facet, so I respect that. So, Miss uh, Miss uh, Kimmy, what do you what what do you do for fun, Miss? I really like hot yoga. Recently, that's Ooh. been my absolute jam. Um, I love hanging out outside. Um, I think my happy place is probably the beach. I really like having um, all sorts of pets and stuff. (laughs) So, well, I mean, right now it's just cats and dogs, but I absolutely love my pets and I spend most of my time like taking care of them. And yeah, it's a lot of fun. If you could have another pet, what would it be? Ooh, I mean, I just have, I love kittens and puppies. I think, uh, I think I would probably get uh, maybe a little puppy, maybe one more little puppy. Oh maybe. my gosh. How many do you have? Uh, a lot. Let's just say it's <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Don't let that interrupt with having like an a, a army, an army of uh kitties and cat I mean kitties and cats the same darn thing kitties and dogs at your crib yes yes that's awesome I love that I've only All ever I've yes. only ever had one pet well two pets but they were the same type of animal and same type of reptile and like I don't I don't think I could be a good fur daddy what Aww. did you have an iguana I had a snake a red tail boa Oh, oh wow! You had two snakes in total. Well, no, like my my brother had one that he used to just throw at me when I was like uh, when I was like five and six. So when I was at my mother's house, it was always like a random red tail boa getting thrown at me. Mm-hmm. And then like when I was when I was in college, I had like my snake at my home until I went out the country and you know he disappeared. But goodness. Goodness gracious. So I've had a lot of pets like over the years. I've um so basically growing up, like I always like picked up strays and like so did my family. We were just but those kinds of people. So anytime yeah. we found some like stranded like animal, we would just like essentially try to save it. So at one point we had like 14 dogs because like one dog had a litter. And then we had like eight cats because one cat had a litter also. And then um, two turtles and then three birds. Oh my Lord. (laughs) See, that's a packed house. (laughs) Yeah, it definitely was. It was like a zoo. It definitely was. It was insane. Yeah. Kimmy Kim, I think I'm slowly becoming like, you know, you know those, those memes where you see a old person and they're like doing like this, talking about get that dog or get that cat off my yard. Dog. So yeah. I have it's these, it's these two random cats that keep jumping in my backyard, oh. and like they run around. And the thing is, like it it bothers me because sometimes they they're in heat, 
And instead of, you know, going anywhere around my backyard, they go to right where my back window is and just like make that all that purring, like come, 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 like get come here, there, that come here through the Yeah, and they do it right here, like right next to my damn my darn window. Of all them all my big old backyard, they want to come right here and like try to get it in. And then they like get inside. They want to have a comfy place. <laughs> oh no, like exactly. when, I, when I go outside, they run, they jump, and they go they, they run around the whole neighborhood. And I think the only reason they keep coming back is because my neighbor has a a, a cat bowl out for the straight stray cats. Because it's not mm -hmm. it's not theirs. But the thing is, they come to my yard <laughs> of all the yards in the neighborhood to um relieve themselves. Yeah. So I have to you... get I have to get their relief up. <laughs> You've gotta let nature do its thing, you know? Right? <laughs> exactly. Like they they gotta do what they gotta do. And then maybe yeah. you just a romantic home, you know, like they just like the vibe. It's just the yeah, vibe. But they don't they don't but they don't have don't to poop in my out. yard. <laughs> I don't I don't I don't like picking up poop in my yard though. Yeah, but you like you know how much sex happens in your house, so they're probably like, I don't know, attracted to like the pheromones or something. That just, that, that just makes me sound like a that makes me sound like a like a like the uh, the the hoe that be that's in this household. And it's not me. <laughs> it's I not have, him, guys. It's all the I, friends. I, I have the least amount of sex in my own house, so <laughs> yes. But like, we like to go and film there, you know. Yeah, so it's fun having every, a friend with like everybody, a house. Everybody films at my house just to have sex, but then they all leave, and I'm like, "Oh, that was that was that was fun." <laughs> <laughs> that was a good time, guys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm, but you know, what's what's hot yoga? I'm sorry. <gasps> okay, so hot yoga is basically just yoga, but it's inside of like a sauna. So the entire room gets up to like 94 to nine, like 94, 96 degrees. And you just barely move because it's just very slow yoga movements, but you sweat bullets because it's so hot already. And it's one of my favorite feelings in the world. I think mm -hmm. I would die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to like, uh, they recommend that you make sure to hydrate like a couple days before, like to stay hydrated. And yeah. then um, from what I heard, one of the benefits, obviously it helps with your blood flow and it helps you like release toxins. Yeah. And then I think it helps it so you don't get strained because obviously with the heat, your muscles and your ligaments are able to like stretch more. And relax. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's just what I've heard. That's it. I don't know. <laughs> like, I the thing is, like, I'm not flexible anymore. I have the I have the flexibility of a banana. And <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the flexibility of a banana. But yeah. um, how often do you do hot yoga? Um, I have taken time off recently because I've had I got bit by a spider and it blew up into like a huge like cyst so I had to take like almost a month off but I'm trying to get back into at least once a week but there's been some weeks where I've been able to go twice since I haven't like had work I have a specific like instructor that I really like and she does mm -hmm. Tuesdays and Thursdays so I try to go at least either Tuesday or Thursday and I just okay. I love it so I much. just I just want to point out folks if you see somebody <laughs> randomly swinging around uh LA uh swinging a building to building and you like and they're in a mask you know we all know it's Kimmy Kim yeah so just, just, <laughs> just don't reveal just don't reveal her secret identity you know that's her yeah. saving everybody's you know the uh the IRL cat woman you know, uh, <laughs> spider woman but spider that's, yeah. <laughs> that's so, I'm sorry I just that's that's what I took from that story I hope you're healing though I hate um uh, getting bit by anything you know oh yeah, saying? it's like, much better now. <laughs> I was actually about to ask, like, do you know what kind of spider it was? 
oh, we have no idea. I ended up going to the doctor because, you know, I had this really painful, like, mm -hmm. swelling bump on my leg, and it just kept getting bigger. And he was just, like, squeezing it, looking at it, and, and it hurt so bad but every time he touched it. I was like, ah, I don't know. But um, he was like, yeah, he's like, it looks like you got bit by a spider. And I guess it was, like, while I was sleeping, or it could have been, like, while I was um, – home in Georgia so that's the thing is because I go between Georgia and California we couldn't really narrow it down either because it could have been either <laughs> one back yeah to, back to back Georgia podcast people right that's true <laughs> what is it no I just like the last person we interviewed like uh the other day they're from Georgia also mm -hmm. oh yeah oh, that's I, said, so awesome. I said back back to back Georgia people Georgia must yeah. be the Georgia must be the it spot right now. <laughs> Probably. Well, I mean, also because there's like a bunch of like hills and I feel like if you walk a lot, you know, it definitely helps with the booty and kind of helps thicken up them thighs. Like, yes. Oh, yeah. I, I don't walk. Walking is not fun. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not too crazy on walking, but like, if it's like a nature walk, then definitely. I, I feel like that's something that I would go for. Um, but only if people let me stop and like smell the flowers or maybe even like snip a few here and there so I can propagate them later. Like, I don't know. That, Ooh, that's a plant girl. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. After this, I'm actually thinking to, um, I have some plants that I propagated that I need to, um, I need to actually put into a pot. Oh, that's so, so cool. Then I'll stream. Yeah, Sarah doesn't know this, but when she's here next, she's, I'm going to have her water my plants. <laughs> you know, you water them? My squirt this, or this, with what? What, this is my plants. Don't don't uh, give my don't give my plants something that they can't have all the time. <laughs> I mean, it's a little treat just once in a while. My plant, I, I, I come, I come back, and my plants uh, are chit chat by OnlyFans, and I'm like, "What's going on? That's, that's that's not fair. Don't do my plants like that." <laughs> oh my god, that would be pretty funny to do though. So I have, I have a random question because I I was doing all my research on you, and I heard you have never eaten a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and I was wondering how that has that changed. So I ended up, because I actually did an interview where um, my random fact about myself, the only thing for some reason that I could think of was that I had never had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Because recently my um, friend was making fun of me for that because I'm such a picky eater and I just always have been. So it ended up changing because I was um, on set and they had heard that I never had one. So literally the director went to the store to buy all uh, of like the best jams and the peanut butter and like really nice bread and sat there and made me a peanut butter and jelly. So of course I was like, okay, I have to eat it now. Cause like he took the time. <laughs> right, the that's crust. so awesome. Yeah, oh, it was crust too. He cut off the crust, it was so sweet. And I, I love him so much. But yeah, so then I ate, the, I had a peanut butter and jelly now. So That's do you approve amazing, or do you hate though. I I actually think I liked it. I don't think it's something that I would think to make myself. So I don't think that I would crave it because I've only um had or I haven't had one since then. Or have I? No, I haven't. See, I haven't had one since yeah. then. I think I, I buy a lot, a lot of Uncrustables. Ooh, yeah, I haven't tried one. <laughs> so all, all, all it is is bro, you buy from the store and it's already a pre-made peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And already already has the crust cut off, and like you can throw it in the freezer, and you, when you want to eat it, it takes about an hour for it to unthaw, and then you're good to go. Honestly, mm -hmm. I should try one of those. Another thing that I um I was watching a YouTube channel where they cook, because I that's like one of my guilty pleasures is watching like YouTube cooking channels. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but I love um. You too. Yeah, they're so entertaining. Mm -hmm. um, and it makes me think that I can be a chef, um, even though I definitely couldn't be. But um, well, I feel you know. like it helps you be creative in cooking yeah. your own foods, at least. You know? Oh, yeah. So you, yeah. you're shaking it up in your own kitchen. 
So, oh yeah. To keep him, <laughs> Please do I, a I am an extremely picky eater. She can yeah. attest to that because like I hate a lot of different foods. And I would just look at you if you try to give it to me and I would get mad. And uh so <laughs> I agree with you. There's a lot of stuff that like like I don't like chocolate. Oh wow. I yeah. do not like chocolate at all. I don't it's like so I don't like noodles. And he doesn't like tomatoes either. Like I don't like whole tomatoes, but like, I'm with you on tomatoes. <gasps> what? I love tomatoes. So I've never tried like a regular tomato actually, but I tried ketchup and I didn't like it. And then I tried mm -hmm. salsa recently because uh, Sean Alf had me try some salsa mm -hmm. and uh, it didn't taste like ketchup, but it didn't actually taste bad. I don't know if I would have it again though. I don't know. It's kind of scary. <laughs> You might salsa um, doesn't really have a lot of tomatoes unless it's like the like pico de gallo type of salsa. It usually has tomatillos, which is like green tomatoes. It's a little different. Oh, well, then I've never had anything tomato. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's like I don't I love ketchup. I just don't like the actual like I don't like uh the fresh tomatoes. So like fresh tomatoes, like onion is onions and like I don't like it unless I can't taste it at all unless it's like if it's in like a chili and you can't taste the tomato yeah. it's okay it's more so like if it's in there and I cannot taste it I'm good but if I can taste it it ruins the entire meal yeah well I guess I've had obviously I've had pizza but other than that yeah there's nothing that I've ever tried like regular tomato on ever Nothing like tomato and it's like raw form, basically. Yeah, that's no. insane. See, I get, <laughs> see, I get, I get, I get judged because, like, um, like if I go to um, an um, a, a Asian style restaurant, and everybody gets uh, well, what's that? What's the, what's the what's the uh, pasta called? Uh, the Ramen. noodles. Oh, yeah, coming. Oh, the, the noodles, the oh, noodles. Yeah. The noodles. I, and like, I can't eat that at all. And like, everybody will have that. And I'm over here with regular white rice. Like, yeah. <laughs> so boring with that. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm boring. And it's because, like, like I and, like, don't you, feel those noodles. Like, you know? I say, and I say, I say, I, I love uh, tempura. They, and they say, you're not eating real sushi. And I'm like, but, but it's still, I'm sorry. <laughs> I get judged. Like, I get judged because like I'm extreme I'm extremely picky about what goes in my body sometimes. So I'm like, I feel you. I feel you on being an extremely picky eater. Oh yeah. Like it's it's to the point where some of my friends just say we order out. I love to cook. I will cook these nasty foods for people. Like I would <laughs> like like I don't like mac and cheese, but I will cook mac and cheese for people. It's See, he's weird. I don't like sometimes, anything noodles. Sometimes I, mean, I don't know how we're friends because like, <laughs> a, like we were eating like a whole bunch of like mac and cheese and he was just like, you guys are, you guys are weird. He's just looking at us like, yeah, in this, like is, it is, what makes it worse is because in my family, my sister, my um, sister, she's the one that makes all the mac and cheese for everybody. And I'm like, I, no, I'm good. Oh, I'm good. my Thank Lord. You. Yeah, I don't like anything noodles. So anything with a noodle, I cannot eat. So mac and cheese, spaghetti, uh, chow mein, um, 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 ravioli, uh, uh, piscotti, uh, any, right. any, just, any, just any of that. Just cancel him already. Just uh, cancel him. What's <laughs> Chef, Chef Bor ID. Um, oh, <laughs> what's what's the other one that gives the little kids that stuff? No, spaghettios. Uh, Spaghettios, yes. That no, yeah. I'm good. <laughs> He's so weird, ain't he? Like, come on. Yeah, I, I, I think I've met my match because I thought I was picky, but I don't think I'm that picky now. <laughs> do you think it's like I like I, I, I do like I do like like weird things. I love alligator. You know, I uh, I don't like greens, like like actual like collard greens and stuff like that. 
But I mm -hmm. love I love almost all I love, I love almost all the fish, except for like tuna and um anchovies and lobster. But I would eat any type of fish, you know. I just don't like I don't like one thing that accompanies a lot of food. So I don't like noodles. So that kills off a lot of stuff. That that kills off the entire uh Olive Garden because Olive Garden is disgusting. <laughs> I right. I I said well, for I said for years it's like if I ever if I'm ever dating somebody and I take them to Olive Garden you know I'm taking them there to break up with them. <laughs> that is a place that's a place you go to dump people is Olive Garden. Now, but what if you like were in a relationship with like someone that you like absolutely fell in love with, but her favorite restaurant happened to be Olive Garden? Yeah, would you uh, still go? I would eat bread. I don't want to eat bread. Oh. <laughs> no, because honestly, that honestly, works. I'm gonna tell you this. Bread so, and a salad. So I was helping someone yeah. move a few, like about seven, six, seven years ago, and the only thing that uh, they wanted to eat them and their roommate was Olive Garden. So I went and I told them, I said, I don't like noodles. I don't like almost most Italian food. So the only thing I got there was a plain chicken with nothing, nothing else. So it was covered in. Italian sauce. So it's Italian sauce, chicken, and bread. And that's all I ate. And they were like, and the Ruick was like, why did you come here if you don't like noodles? I'm like, because that's where th th this one wanted to go to. But they so, wanted to come. So <laughs> like, I'm accommodating. I'm accommodating. I would go to that's any insane, restaurant. But like, I'll, 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 bread, I'll eat McDonald's. I would refuse to eat McDonald's. Either. But I will drive someone to McDonald's. Then I would go across the street to a different restaurant. Oh, yeah. I haven't had McDonald's in some people's lifetime. So it's been 22 years since I've ate McDonald's. Goodness. Wow. Yeah, that's that's been a while then. I, I could not go. When I was in Mexico shooting, I was there for two weeks. And mm -hmm. like for some reason, it was like a crack craving. And it was McDonald's. Like, all I wanted when I landed was McDonald's French fries. I was like, because totally, I couldn't get any fries in Mexico. Good. Their fries are good, though. I will give oh, you that so one. Good. They're mm -hmm. probably the best fast food fries, in my opinion. Have you ever had rallies? Rallies. Is that oh, like the, um, they're or weird, like sisters with checkers. Yeah. I think checkers has the best fries. I think I still think it's McDonald's. <laughs> like, I think I've had checkers and it's one it was one other it was and this is gonna show my age. Um it was KFC's fries before two thousand. Fries were delicious. Oh. They changed mm -hmm. the recipe and then they went to potato wedges and they never uh. went back to their old recipe when they came back with fries. But those fries before 2000 KFC, showing my age, because I was old by then, because I was in high school when I got rid of the uh, fries, because I was so sad. We're, the, we're, we're better than, than checkers, in my opinion. <laughs> See, no, I think... <laughs> Have you guys had um, Zaxby's fries? I've never um... had Zaxby's. <gasps> But I'm, I don't think I've ever even, I'm not sure I've even had Saxby's. Oh my God. When it comes to seasoned fast food fries, mm -hmm. they have like some sort of like Tony Sacherets or something like, but their mm -hmm. own on it. And it is so, so good. Those are top tier. You have to try it. Is there even one in, okay. in LA? No. So there's not any okay. Zaxby's in LA, but every time I'm home in Georgia, that's one of the things that I get Zaxby's for sure. I haven't, okay. I haven't been to Georgia since, ooh, 2013. I think they have some Zaxby's in Florida too. I think it's kind of like a little bit regional, but I don't know. Maybe it's only like North Florida or something. I, mean, I think I, I definitely see, I definitely seen them before. I just mm -hmm. never, never eaten there. It's just like yeah, when, I tell, when I tell people like one place that I go to, because I'm from Indiana, so when I'm not in LA and I go visit like you know family, whatever, I need to go to a steak and shake at least once. Oh yeah, steak and shake fries are actually pretty good too. 
I mean, they're, like, they're, <laughs> their, fri- their fries are okay. It's just their burgers. Like, I love, and I don't know if it's just a nostalgia thing from when I used to drink alcohol and I used to get really messed up. And we used to, <laughs> Probably then. And we used to, we used to like leave, like, we used to have like our one sober friend uh, drive us to either Denny's or Steak and Shake, but we prefer Steak and Shake. And we just oh, go yeah. there, get a steak burger, whatever, and then go back to uh, our drunken abyss, you know? Cause I don't, I don't, I don't drink anymore either, Miss Kimmy Kim. So yeah, he doesn't drink and he doesn't curse. Oh, so I don't drink and I don't smoke, and those are my like things. Ooh, okay. See, my I drinkers. Have, I have all the vices. I do. Yeah. I don't drink <laughs> that often, of course, but I do drink. I do smoke a lot. Um, and yeah. Well, I smoke my nicotine vape, vape, but yeah, so I, so I vape and that like, I mean, I think that's different than like smoking pot for yeah. sure. See, I would <laughs> say but this. I smoke both. I, I smoke both. I smoke uh, pot and I vape too. See, the thing uh, is this, and I, I get judged because of this, because people see it as weird sometimes, is I would not, like, I engage in weed sometimes, but I would not engage. smoke, at, I would not smoke after five o'clock. Huh. And it's mainly because I do like I'm do most of my work at night, so oh okay. If like I and sometimes you don't know how it's going to affect you, you know. Yeah. So if I yeah. hit hit something and like it makes me completely sleepy, whatever. Like if I hit it like around noon, I can knock out those three hours of sleep and then be alert. But I can't do it at night when I want to be the most active, you know. Yeah. And, I, and I already don't smoke as much as is because I don't like smoking by myself. Mm. Like, I need I need friends to smoke. <laughs> yeah. So. so he'll just smoke a few puffs and then that's it, you know. Yeah, I, I take I take one or two and then I just hand it back and I just go back in my back to the living room and watch anime. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I tried weed like especially when it was like friends around and especially like to like try to like impress boys and be like oh yeah like I can totally do this but I can absolutely like cannot handle it I freak out and so it just was not for me and I could not handle it like I cannot hang <laughs> I get it that's how some people are some people it's like it doesn't matter what strain what environment they just always end up yeah. paranoid I think yeah when I'm high high I just like get into that little zone of state where I'm just looking at everybody like mm-hmm. you're just in the couch like just staring at everybody and, 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 and it looks so creepy because like I'm not saying a word I'm already I'm already a quiet person sometimes but I'm just looking at you like it's like <laughs> what See, and then exactly. if I were high, I'd be like, like what are you looking at? Oh my god, what's happening to me? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We could never get high together. I'm so sorry. Oh, like right? no, that's just how I don't. It is. I don't. I don't even. I don't even re- like say, "Hey, here's some weed." Well, I don't, like let's let's smoke whatever. I don't suggest yeah. it. It's always suggested to me, and I'm like, okay, I can I can engage, but it's never me saying, "Hey, let's go get high." Yeah. And this is not like, and I don't drink, but I have I keep alcohol at the crib. Like, hey, if y'all want to get drunk, go ahead. There's alcohol in there, in there, whatever. But. And you say you don't drink. I don't drink either. I've I haven't drank in fourteen years. Oh, mm-hmm. I, I like that makes me sound like an alcoholic. No, I just I it just it, it just wasn't fun anymore. Like, yeah, I, no, I totally get that because the reason that I usually don't drink is because I get the Asian glow so badly that like mm-hmm. my throat gets so like my throat gets tight and it gets red and um, basically it's like. Asians are predisposed to have an allergic reaction to alcohol, so I end up getting that. Mm. It's never fun. It's uncomfortable, and I've never yeah. heard of that before. Yeah, Google it. The Asian glow. <laughs> I, I will. I will. I will oh that back. I've never heard of that before. I'm sorry that you have to experience that when you do engage. Now, that's a lot. Same. Yeah. yeah. I do want to ask at you. At least you're able to like remember and be conscious about like your decisions during parties and events like that, you know? Oh yeah. I mean, if I it, honestly, if I do have like a full drink, 
then because we're allergic, I feel like it does affect us harder. So Mm -hmm. I know that if I am for some reason, like going to drink that I can have like half of a drink and like, that's it. So yeah. Yeah. Cause other than that, it's like, then I'm, it's yeah, way too much. And and then it's even more painful and uncomfortable and it's like no fun at all. (laughs) That's insanity. Like I know someone who's like allergic to weed, but like, it's just like an allergy it's not something that it's like you know like as opposed to you like this is the first time finding out that it's just like a predisposition so that's kind of cool well not necessarily good but not bad either you know yeah but but at least at At the end of the day alcohol is kind of like slowly poisoning people so at least it makes you like me the designated driver yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm grateful to be the destination because I know my friends are safe oh sometimes. yeah sometimes they're not trying to fight everybody <laughs> hey I only did that once I wasn't even talking about you but oh, you just called okay. yourself <laughs> <laughs> I almost got in a fight one time but it's because this dude was threatening me oh god people, people, I threatened him right back Duh. people are weird out here so, so, right? question. so since we are on here and you are you know a, a doll actress what do you have coming you out what, what should we what should we what do we have what do we have coming out that you have coming out that we should look forward to well i just did a project with nathan bronson and four play films okay. and Ooh. we worked for weeks on this choreographed ballet <gasps> why and that's it was, so awesome. It was so cool. It was so much fun. So that's going to be on me and Nathan's OnlyFans and on Four Play Films. But it's, I mean, me, Nathan had to lift me. I mean, this, I, the most I can do to help him is like keep my body tight, which mm-hmm. like, you know, I did do dance and stuff and gymnastics and stuff. So like, I tried to help him as much as I could, but I felt so bad for him because he had to lift me over and over again just to get out. I, I, I just, I just, I just want to throw this out there, and uh, when she's saying this, all of me, my brain went to uh, the dirty dancing lift scene, and yes. I'm just that's what you did. Yeah, I can. I'm just. That's what I'm just, I thought. I'm just, I'm just picturing doing, him yes. having you up, and the song is playing in my head, like. <laughs> That's yeah, so he had me all the way up in the air, and then he put that me on is... his shoulder, and then put me down, and then that was at the end of the dance. But at the end of the day, I came back, and my hips were bruised from him the having lift, to yeah. lift me so the many weight, times. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. That sounds, yeah. <laughs> that sounds like, one, that sounds awesome, but it does sound like a lot of work. Yeah. That just sounds really awesome. I, I mean... Yeah, and they just yeah. really, really cool. It, it sounds worth it at the end of the day. I cannot wait to see the footage. I haven't seen it yet, but I am so beyond excited just because I feel like I got to combine two things that like I love doing. And I mean, a scene with Nathan for me is always like one of the best too. So it mm. just, it felt so perfect. And I'm I am really excited for that to come out. Yeah, Nathan is great. <laughs> so ever, since, ever since I met Nathan, I'm like, you a cool dude. I don't he really you. is. Yeah. Every single time, like I like gush about him on a podcast somehow for some <laughs> reason. <laughs> but he See, that's like, how you best. know when someone's amazing when and you, you can, just like, get like, them out of your head. You just you just know who you uh vibe with, and that's the, that's mm-hmm. my opinion the best scenes because there's some people you just say okay, uh, Kimmy Kim, you're working with uh with Don Lewis, and you're like, oh my god, I hate that dude. But I have to go ahead and get this, get this over with, and you yeah, know, get you this, can, get this cash. <laughs> like you, you like notice sometimes like sometimes hate fuck videos turn out great, you know. That's I'm, fair. I'm, That's I'm, totally I'm not, fair. I'm not, I'm not saying you they have suck. To channel that rage properly, you know. I, I'm not. I'm not saying they suck. I'm just saying like. <laughs> but no, oh, it's amazing what? that you're able to actually have the chemistry, you know, because. I feel like doing having it that way, you're able to make it more passionate. So it's it's a different intensity. It's a better intensity for sure. <laughs> oh yeah. I love mm-hmm. like finding performers that are 
well, one comfortable with getting to that moment, you know, of passion, mm -hmm. like genuine passion. And it's always so cool, like when it happens and we're just like, wow, like, okay, so you're great to work with, you know, like that's mm -hmm. awesome. I, exactly. I love that. Someone that you feel comfortable with. I yes. Think the, I think the whole thing is once you find your vibe, and, and like, because the thing is, it's like, you know what you like. And if someone else can match that energy, it makes mm -hmm. it so much better. And especially if, mm -hmm. like you say, you did, you did gymnastics and uh, ballet and other stuff. So that's your, you know, your passion. You can't you probably don't do it as much as you used to, but it is yeah. still something that, you know, you love. And because you love it and you can incorporate it in, uh, in work in some capacity, it's kind of like, heck yeah, you know, I got yeah. this. Yeah. Oh yeah. It was so much fun. I definitely like, and I've been wanting to do this for a while, just on top of hot yoga, like finding some sort of like adult gymnastics class, or if I want to incorporate it into work even more, I could start doing like strip dance classes because Ooh. I've never actually stripped before. So I was like, maybe I should do that because that would be really cool. I think that would movie. definitely be fun. I seen I'd your post the other that. day that you said, is it like it, it is like this to you talking now? I can hear you saying it, and it's like you twirling your hair. Is there anybody out there that want to do a, a a yoga porn video with me? Yes, <laughs> I saw that tweet, and I'm like, I know a few girls that would love to do a uh, uh, yoga. Uh, yoga porn oh mm -hmm. yeah because it's that, like I mean, eight, imagine scissoring on a mat like while one person's doing a full split yes oh my god I did a yoga scene with Susie Stellar and it ended up being one of my favorite scenes that I've ever done just because I mean luckily like we met and like meshed really well and we both actually do yoga so it was really cool like to incorporate that it was so fun oh I, that's amazing i know she does a video where she's teasing somebody doing her doing her yoga in front of the person while they're trying to play this video games pretending and the person that's pretending they're not noticing and not they're distracted because I know who they are, but yeah. they gotta pretend that they're not distracted while she's doing whatever. So mm -hmm. fan, fans love just the fact that you're doing yoga and it's kind of hot, you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. it really is. Plus, it's like showing our flexibility in like ways other than just sex, you know? Very true. Because when you're doing a split and showing that, it can be different when there's like. A penis inside you like your Ooh. split night might not be as like good <laughs> yeah because you can't you can't exactly. be all the way down you know and it's yeah like, so it's more so of a half a half split or well at least it depends, almost well split. it depends it depends on how yeah. big their body is because if they're if they're a skinny a skinny guy you can go all almost all the way down but if much. they if they if they have some you know some hey. weight to them it's kind of like okay <laughs> And then, depending on like the cur it's gonna sound fair, the curvature of their penis, you know, and you're going down, you can't, yeah. you gotta, you know, move your body along in a way that it's going in the right, going inside the right way. Even yeah. though, because like I got you get what I mean. one time, and the couch turned out to be like the perfect like size. So I was able to actually plant both feet on like each side of like the, the armrest. Yeah. But like I I tried it again and with a different person in a different location, it just did not turn out the same. And it's just like sometimes you forget that it's like, all right, just just because I'm putting a penis inside me that it's gonna make it like ten times harder. And to, the, yeah, and the, and the size and the size of the penis really mm. messes with it also. Because yeah, it, but, if it, if it, yeah, because but I want it, it thick though. No, no, because no, no, no. If it's like if it's a, a thick, long penis that does that little hook, you can't go down in a in a certain way. And you can only yeah. like you 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 got you gotta you gotta block it. You can you can only go so far, you know. Hey, but but then, yeah. that's how I'm gonna try to take it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, I I, I don't know because I don't I don't take one inside of me, but I'm just saying hey, you see, you've seen me attempt. 
I, I, yeah, but that's not where like no. I'll I'm just saying I'm just every I'm just, inch I can in there. I'm just saying, like when you're trying to do yoga, you're trying to do a split, and you're trying to go all the way down. You can't do that depending on you know angles and stuff like that. And so, there's so many factors that go in that goes oh, into yeah. it. Oh, for That's sure. That's my point. <laughs> I just wanted you to break character. Oh, you're trying. You're, you're, try you're trying to get me to uh, say some stuff I'm not supposed to say, and I know you. Yep. So Kimmy Kim, she's one of the people that like that knows I record people and all I'm, I'm recording. I'm very, very stern. And like I have fun, but like I'm not I I delete all sexual things in my brain when I record. And she's one of the people that I've recorded that really goes out their way to try to make me crack and say something very inappropriate or something yeah. like that. And I think she's she's done it like twice. Yes. And um, yeah, like, but all the other time, I'm just like, okay, this is what's going on. And I'm very like, I'm working. I'm working. I'm working. I'm working. Leave me alone. <laughs> and then, like, I mean, like, when I'm when I'm not when I'm not working, it's like it's off the rails. But when I'm actually like, you know, we're on set, you know, and you're like, it's it'd be weird if like I'm recording you and you're sitting like we're having a full conversation. You're naked in front of me, and I'm like making sex jokes. And that's that's not the time for that. I'm, like you're here for work. It's like, yeah, I'm not, oh yeah, I'm, I'm being I'm trying to be respectful. But I make the sex jokes and then try to make him crack. And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> like you're like, pulling in no reverse. Like, exactly. Like, it's, like, it's like hold up. Like wait, wait until you're not. Well, wait until we're not on set. If you're naked in front of me, and we're not on set. It's a different story. But like, if you're naked in front of me, and I'm and I'm recording you do do a uh, do a do a four girl orgy. It's like okay, I'm respectful right now. I'm recording, and you're 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 just you're just an actress right here, and I don't see any nudity. I'm just recording. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> And that's, but yeah. Still, it was fun. One time I gave him a hard on, and he just like he, we he had to pause. He was like, "That was that was it was at, it was at the very end because like I've only ever gotten hard twice from recording people. I've been recording people for what like uh for sixteen six, years, six, sixteen years, six, sixteen years. Yeah. And I've only gotten ever gotten hard twice. And after that one that she did, I'm just like. Hey y'all! Like it's at the very end, and they were cleaning up whatever. And I like I said, I'm sorry, it's there. And I said, I know, I said, I know exactly when it popped up, and it's still there. So give me like ten minutes, and it'll go away. But I apologize. I looked at him. And I was like, Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. I mean, you know this video was good. Fuck. Because I got made. We love that. <laughs> I have a friend that always says, you little succubus, you. <laughs> you little succubus, you. So, so when, so when, does, this, when does this video uh, come out of uh, you and Nathan? Does it, is it a set time? Um, I'm not sure. I'm hoping within the next week or so we'll have it up and out. So Okay. No, because I'm, 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 I'm just, I'm just wondering. Be yeah. That should be out. Yeah, because this we're recording like two weeks in advance, um, right now yeah. because of uh, I'm going to be traveling, so I was just kind of like, okay, let's make sure that uh, hey, go watch this now or stay tuned for uh, Nathan, Nathan living up, Miss Kimmy Kim, you yeah. know, and uh, and you and you and y'all and y'all y'all know everything that Kimmy Kim do. That's a sexy, you know, <laughs> and, and you know, you know, you like uh, Kimmy Kim sexiness. Um, that you you would love to go watch that. I'm extra with everything that I do. I'm sorry. He is. He you're, is. You're like yes. you're like he's a, you're a little bit extra right now, Raw Star. That's how, that's how I am on a regular basis. Like every time you see me out, and <laughs> he like, can't help it. I you you see me take like I've, I've taken your picture before at events, and I'm like smile for me. Okay, okay, yes, yes, yes. yes. So, Sell it, so, and then I walk away. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's, what, that's what I do on front of you. I'm like, I'm like, because the thing is, it's like, I don't like to say, give me this pose, snap, give me this pose, snap. You already know what you're doing. So it's kind of like, yeah, uh, do do what you can do. And once you know that the picture is taken, 
Just move. And then I did upsetting the entire time. So I'm like, yes, Kimmy, yes. Oh, yeah, I see. Oh, you are killing that look. Yes, give it to me, mister. Uh, oh, yes, yes. Okay, Kimmy. Okay, yeah. Oh, my God. That is that is a great picture. Okay, okay. We I love see you. That. <laughs> oh, yeah. When, when we love people, that so much. Yeah, when people don't know him, they get confused. Like, whoa, that's he's a lot. But then once they realize that he's just trying to hype you up, I and also know, he's got to get you a natural smile too, you know, like a natural oh, yeah. laugh. People yeah. are just like, okay, that's right. Mm -hmm. Let me pose. Mm. Yes. You know? yeah, then you start feeling it. You're just like, that's right. I'm a bad bitch. Yes, and I love that. I need that because I get so nervous at these events, and I don't know why. I just get like. I get so like I, like just, just shaky and like and mm -hmm. like as if I don't know what I'm doing. Like I like freeze yeah. up. I'm like, okay, all right. Like, yeah, we can take a picture. <laughs> because you, oh, you can't totally you can't really in, you can't really what 2020, right? Um yes, but at the end of the year, it was like October. Okay. Yeah. yeah so you, you came in, you okay. came in, you did come in at an uptune time that events weren't inventing like they were inventing yeah yeah, yeah there was so. no events um for the i think first like year that i was in because 2021 i don't think there was any still mm -hmm. yeah it, was, it wasn't it wasn't no, any in 2020 not really. I, think, I think 2021 wasn't either yeah. um i think 23 was when they started up again because i know I, I do know like Urban X did the pool party for the uh, Hall of Fame in 2021, but late 2021. But I don't, I don't, mm -hmm. I don't think ex the event events came back until uh, 2022. Yeah, because the first X3 was 2022. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's the one that I went to. That was my first ever event. So yeah, I didn't get to go to the events like from my start. Oh, yeah, I, th I think I, I think I took your picture in 2022. Also, I don't remember. I'm I'm like Aww. ninety I'm like ninety percent sure I did. That's so fun. <laughs> we gotta find the picture that they exist, <laughs> right? That way, at least, like you know that he has photos of your very first like event. Yeah. I mean, that's, oh, that's, 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 so I, mean that, I mean that's that's how I met yeah. her. Was like at a random, a random, random. Oh no, XRCO was the first. It was XRCO. I met. And I, I met think I was there. hosting the lingerie party or something like that. I was like a host, or I was trying to be. I don't know. I don't know. This was at the war, the war show, XRCL. Yeah. And so that's why I met. I had hosted the day before. Oh yeah, they always do like this the pajama or lingerie thing. Yes, I yeah, love that's those. so fun. I didn't know XRCO did a lingerie party. I could have sworn they had. Uh -uh. That's not that I know of. How drunk was I? XRC. XRC <laughs> you're thinking, you you're, you're thinking about Urban X. I'm talking about XRC. No, no, no. no. Yeah, it yeah, was yeah. definitely not Urban X. So that bit makes me question whose party did I go to? <laughs> where was I in my pajamas? <laughs> yeah, where was I? Like, you're, you're just <laughs> okay. a, you were at some random person house party in your pajamas and they just said, I'm yes, a boy. we're we're XRCO and you're just up there in your lingerie and they just got a good picture of you. We that, love that, that sounds about right. That sounds like the kind of mistake I would make. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, I've gone to a random hotel event like where it was something completely different. I just walked in and no one told me any better until eventually like they started making announcements and I was like, this is not what I came for. I'm in the wrong place. Oh my god. I mean, you'd be surprised at what events become events because people just randomly show up to their to the place. Oh yeah. That's true. It's true. Because I've I've seen <laughs> things in my in these crazy years that I've been around this industry. I've seen things that are unspeakable. <laughs> unspeakable 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 um so question you said you like you did uh training for ballet and you love gymnastics do you still do anything related to that like dance wise and stuff like that or 
Do you just right now? I'm just doing hot yoga classes. But if anyone um does know of a good connection for feature dancing, I would love to put on my first feature dancing show. I've never done it before, but um I shake my butt all around my house all the time. So <laughs> Oh, that would be awesome. I think I know someone who I can um get you in contact with. Yeah, I know. Oh my gosh, I might yes. know a few people like out here. Like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna uh doll you say your location, but I know a lot of people that are down in San Diego maybe. Okay. That, uh... I would love to I mean I just of course, you know, like we always like see it in the movies. Like I loved burlesque, like that movie. Mm -hmm. I loved it growing up. So like I would just love to be on a stage dancing one day. Yeah, I, mean, I think it's, I think it's really it's hard because uh like just doing the darn pole because not everybody knows like uh the pole moves, not you. Yeah, and like it is well it just, depends on the pole. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen, well, because I've done, uh, I did a scene at um, a club with Lulu, and they were teaching me about, like, how, like, there's spinning ones and then regular ones, and mm -hmm. we actually, like, switched out one of the poles so that we could actually move better on it, because we did, like, do a few little, like, moves for the intro of the scene, so that was actually yeah. really fun, because then Lulu taught me, like, some of the moves, and um, I think I've had, like, a few other times where there's just been a pole at a place and I've just been able to like learn from the girls around me and I'm like oh this is so much fun <laughs> oh that's amazing I think you would definitely do great in like a pole class yeah what's crazy mm -hmm. go I'm, with me I'm looking <laughs> yeah I would I'm looking I'm looking at uh these pictures um from 2022 trying to find you and when you said Lulu I was actually going past a picture of her that I took Oh, we also love Lulu. Lulu, I'm so lucky, has become one of my best friends just because we got put together a lot. That is so, you got you got uh engaged. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Ooh. It was a I think it was April Fool's joke, right? Or or was it Yes. Yeah. So I'm like, that's funny. But we that's actually cool, went huh? and got Yes. We actually went and got real rings for it. So we went shopping and spent too much <laughs> for a joke. Oh but... That's amazing, though. I mean, it's worth it, though. I mean, it's like friendship bracelets, but like better, you know? It's like put into rings. Yes. Oh, I need to get mine resized, though, because mine were way too big. We couldn't find any that I liked that were small enough. <laughs> oh, damn, I get it. Especially being yeah. petite, like you're bound to have small fingers. Oh yeah, yeah. Can you I feel still tall than you? I'm five foot. I don't know why that information is so different on every single like platform ever. Yeah, but yeah, you, I'm this, five it, feet it tall. Says, it says that you're uh like four nine some places. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm like uh, she's short. I, yeah, I think. I'm like I could have sworn she was taller than that. Like, Four nine, four ten, and I was like, "Dang, she is tiny, like bite no. size." Yeah. <laughs> See, yeah, like I have uh, I, I lost like a lot of my rings because they fallen off because my fingers was, were more were fatter when I was younger, and now like all the rings <laughs> I used to wear, they're just gone because uh, I lost like I lost my class ring because oh, yeah. Thank you. And I, I don't do <laughs> don't know where it's at, and I'm like, well, well, damn. I'm looking through all the pictures I've taken, trying to see if I see, I've got you at one of the award shows, and I'm not seeing you so far. And I'm kind of mad. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> see, the way that he is is he's gonna keep looking until he finds it. Like it's gonna keep bugging him. Yeah, love that. He knows he knows he took a picture of you, you know. So he's just like <laughs> he's gonna find it. <laughs> I can't even. I was I was looking at 2022 though. To be fair. Okay, so I think yeah, 2023 was probably wait. Was that my first one? Whatever the first um X3 was was my first event. That was 2022. Oh, 
Yeah. 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 But I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't there morning. the entire day in 22 because I was, so it was somebody yeah. standing at my comb that I had to wait for them because uh, I was driving them and they were always uh, late. <laughs> hey. Not you. See there. See there. You up here feeling all guilty and I'm not even talking about you. Okay, cool. I'm talking about the other person that was at my home during that time. See there. <laughs> all, it's all. just every, every time I travel to his place, there's always delays, you know? Like, it's always, like, flights, I don't know, flights are up to something, but, like, oh, yeah. th there's always a delay, and I'm just like, oh, yeah, I'll be there at 4, boom, 7 p.m. comes across, I'm still not there, 11 o'clock, it's just like, oh, I'm finally on my flight, I'm about to, I'm about to hit <laughs> that way, and it's just like, goodness gracious. Yeah, flights, I mean, because I, I travel back and forth at least once a month, so flights, <laughs> are constantly delayed. I mean, there's so much traffic, uh, especially out of LAX. It's just, yeah. it's the worst. <laughs> so yeah. then, because, uh, huh? No, that's why I like Burbank Airport, but go ahead though. Yeah. But uh, the Atlanta airport has a bunch of, they call it the plane train. So it's like a train inside of the airport and mm -hmm. it's insane. But yeah, sometimes like you don't catch one of those on time. And it's just timing everything perfectly only works out so many times when you travel so much, you know? <laughs> That's true. That's so, so true. Yeah. But still, you know, with a beauty like that, with a beauty like you, you're bound to stay booked, you know? Like, oh. it is what it is. You just kind of, like, have to kind of accept the terrible travel situations. <laughs> yeah. I definitely I mean want to move, but moving across the country does... It's so daunting. Oh, it is a little blurry, but you can't see. Well, I can kind of it's, see. It's the, it's the, it's the, fall. it's the, fall. but yeah. 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 I yeah. Know. Oh my gosh. Oh. But that's, that's 2023. You're, you're wearing pink and you had some buns. That's so cute. She's like, I don't remember so that picture at all. Like, where, where was this picture when I was looking, for, where was this picture when I was looking for pictures from that event, like two years ago? right for real yeah but um what other conventions do you like plan on attending this year or maybe even like early next year hmm well so I've done one exotica mm -hmm. before and I think I would like to try to make it back out to at least one more mm -hmm. um I of course love AVN and X3 and uh XRCO and anything I'm invited to, honestly, I will go. <laughs> That's you, awesome. Were you at XRCO this year? Yes, yes. Sweet. Uh, I, I, <laughs> duh, I took your picture because we were you. Wow, see? Oh, elderly, elderly, elderly coming in. No, because I remember the picture now because he came in with Lulu and I took yes. like four pictures of them together. See there? Like, I remember it. Yep. Like, like, I could have sworn we had talked about this too. When yeah. you like showed me all the pictures. Yeah, and I was going through them like, yeah, this is Kimmy Kim. We have her coming on. Like, blah, blah. And we're like, oh, yeah, she looks awesome. We're like, yeah, she is awesome. And oh. like, we just, we just had this full on conversation. I'm like, yeah, I told, told someone else, like, yeah, we're going to have Kimmy Kim on. Yeah, oh, that's going to be an awesome podcast because she's great. I'm not gonna say no names and out there and whatever, but you know, people mm -hmm. people like speak highly of you behind the scenes. They're like, yeah, mm -hmm. she's a, she's freaking awesome, you know. She's so much. Yeah. Everyone, that, everyone that I've talked to has had nothing but good things to say about you. Oh, that's so good to hear. Thank you so much, and likewise for you, because everyone is always like, oh yeah, like. Sarah's so beautiful and like I remember when I started following you like just because I was like blown away by your face I'm like oh my god like yes you. <laughs> I appreciate that for sure you know yeah, it's always course. so sweet hearing that but like at the end of the day it's it's also because like you do have a great personality and you haven't let this industry like change you you know like you haven't become like, oh, I'm famous. Don't talk to me. Like, <laughs> I, I feel like I'm really lucky because I'm surrounded by people that would never in a million years let me go in that direction, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, 
And that's something that shocked me too about Lulu again, was just that like they were so nice and normal. And I was like, I had this idea in my head before I met them thinking that they would be like, okay, like, who are you? Like, leave me alone. Yeah. But it wasn't that at all. And so I think that just because I've surrounded myself with like people that are like that, and like just nice and normal, you know, that mm -hmm. I've just been really lucky. I think also that, was that like it's few in between people who have not let it go to their head, you know, mm -hmm. and like for me, it's like I I'm like I'm not a performer and pe some people don't know what I do in this industry. So like I just stay in the background in shadows. And some of them aren't nice to me. Like, some people aren't nice to me until they know what I do. And it's kind of like, I'm not a fan. Like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of everybody, but I'm not, you know, just some weird, random person that's up here, you know, trying to be yeah. weird, you know? And yeah. I mean, and that's what a lot of people think that about uh, certain people is that they're just out here being weird. Mm -hmm. And then you could, you could tell because of that, like, because I mean, like, I've met a lot of people when they first started, like, their first scene, like to to go all the way back. Have you met Sandy Starfall? I haven't gotten to meet her yet, but I've talked to her a few times. So I this met amazing. Her, I met her a week after her first scene. Oh, like and you know how ago that was because she's a Hall of Famer now in some capacities, and it's like he's never changed up. He's always been the same sweet little 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 little. I don't want to say little girl because he's old, older. <laughs> but like this, the, 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 the sweet person that I met when I met her at this event way back in 2011. Yeah. And he's always been like, you know, that genuine. So I love the, the, genu the genuineness of a lot of people, you know? Oh, yeah. yeah. So, uh, and, go ahead. Oh, that's just something that I even like. I even get scared of myself. I'm like, whenever I meet people that I know are like a bigger name and and stuff, I'm like, oh God, like I'm scared that like I'm going to fangirl too much. And then they're going to be like, okay, like weird behavior, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I, I have to think, I have to like calm myself down on those ends too. So that like, they don't think I am like a weird fan. <laughs> I've, I've experienced more immediate weirdness from people who are brand new who uh this is what I always tell you about you never know who you're talking to in a circle yeah. so just be wary of that and some people that are very very mean to people who they don't know and then they try to backtrack when they once they realize somebody may know somebody and it can mess you up yeah yeah and it's all it's always nice just to always remember that you never know who you're talking to or never know oh, who's yeah. going to be in the room because right. who know like who like who knows that could be somebody who just books for blah blah agency and your one comment made me say yeah we're never gonna book blah blah because you know they're pure a holes you know right that's mm -hmm. so true so it's just you know it, it is what it is with that so okay so you have you have your uh your video with uh, Nathan coming up. You have your mm -hmm. yoga. You have your hot yoga. You have uh uh. So what else? What else? What else does Kimmy do for fun? Like what else? Like today? Okay, at, you're you're shooting all day customs today. So what? What all? What else do you do for fun outside? Like you you do like uh video games, uh, anime, or stuff like that? Do you do um, anime? Video games, I am not good at anymore. I just completely have lost like the attention span for it. So like, I can't like focus on it really hard. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I love watching YouTube. That's one of my like guilty pleasures. If I ever have yeah. any free time, then I'm definitely watching like you, some sort of YouTube channel. So you, know, so you say, you, that's what you say, you, you know, the cooking shows. The thing mm -hmm. is like the, the main one I watch is Chopped. I love shopped. I can't yeah. bring myself to read. I can. I cannot watch anything with Gordon Ramsay, but that's because of a bad experience with him. Oh but, yeah, yeah. Like he's another person. I just. I'm not a fan of him as a human. So, yeah, from a bad experience. But I love shopped because it always makes me like watch people say, "Oh, how would you take you know uh, a rooster uh, salary?" Uh, some random soy sauce 
and, and a, a bar of chocolate. And a bar of chocolate. <laughs> yeah. And it makes something so immaculate and it looks so good. And it's yeah. like, I can't, I won't be able to ever to eat this. And I probably won't be able to make this. But yeah, do tell. <laughs> oh yeah. I love watching stuff and I'm like, oh, like, I mean, I do learn some things because they're like, oh, like when you whenever you're mixing your wets and your dries, like you should temper it or something and like make sure not to break the sauce. And I'm like, I don't know what that means, but like I just watch them do it. I'm like, okay, I hope I'm doing it right. <laughs> um, you gotta make sure that uh you keep the waters in the in the dry separate until you're ready to mix them because you can't yeah. un you can't unwet mix after right. it's all wet. <laughs> yeah. No, I used to I used to make pot like pies. I used to make cookies from scratch a lot. And Ooh. yeah, I had a barbecue barbecue. Sorry. I had Goodness a uh, I had a Thanksgiving dinner uh with uh uh people in the industry and I was in charge of the sweets. So I made a whole bunch of uh snickerdoodles from scratch. And uh, they ended up stealing my cookies. Like I, <laughs> I ate, I ate probably like two of them, and they just said, "Can can we just take your Tupperware?" And I'm like, yeah. "Oh my god!" And they just took it. And I've never, if anybody who's ever stolen Tupperware from me, I've never gotten it back. That is something that I'm actually super good about because we've got neighbors around here that like some of them are in the industry too. So we try to like if we ever borrow anything like return it the next day because we don't want to go like to set and then be like you got my plate still like <laughs> I don't I don't, yeah. I don't at, at this point they know I don't care because like <laughs> yeah. I was thinking I made a whole entire Thanksgiving dinner me and one other porn performer and like it was like it was during COVID mind you and like someone came right before the curfew was in fact and they said I said yeah just go ahead and take it and I'm like I said because I'm not gonna eat it by myself so they took yeah. my entire turkey they took like a lot of bees. They took like I didn't let them take any of my yams. Those yams were like delicious and I refused oh, yes. to hit them. I but like they took yams. a lot of food. They took like five Tupperwares and they never brought it back. I do oh. bar I do barbecues here a lot. I have a lot of barbecues. And mm -hmm. like I make sure that everybody is well fed. And to the point where I just said, Yeah, go ahead and take this Tupperware. And I know I, I know I'm not gonna get it back. And they take a Tupperware yeah. plate. They take a Tupperware plate home, like uh, you know, like I don't know, like if where you went to school at, but you know how they give you those those uh cold lunches where it's like wrapped up and like you have to peel it back to eat. Like it's like one of those. They just take it home. And they never bring it back. And oh, I'm like, that's cool. That's what he does. <laughs> so I you always... gotta just buy like a big like bulk cheap tupperware thing now oh i do i i to the, at this at this point i just buy the uh and this is the only time i go to the dollar store because i don't go there for any other reason but like yeah. i buy a whole bunch of just dollar store tupperware and when yeah. they take it it's like one like four for a dollar so i'm not losing a lot of money oh yeah exactly. like you might as well especially if you're doing like these barbecues and like these dinners like to share food with people you know you might as well fully share oh yeah so yeah. so question of all the things that you say you watch on youtube as far as food do you prefer you know the like appetizer desserts or like the main big courses Ooh. well prefer to like watch or cook myself <laughs> prefer to watch and maybe try Ooh, mm -hmm. I okay. I think like probably like a main dish. I don't think I would want to spend too much time cooking an app either an appetizer or dessert. If I'm gonna spend time like really cooking something and trying something for the first time, you know, like getting all the ingredients for it and following the video and stuff, it'd probably be mm -hmm. like the main dish. Okay, hmm. I know. Okay. Um, personally, I've been recently I watched on YouTube, not YouTube line on um Instagram. I've been saving random uh, quick tutorials on how to make food. And I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm going to try this. I want to try this. Yeah. And I think I've only done two so far recently. And yeah. this is one steak and potato one that I really enjoyed that I uh, that mm -hmm. I made. And it's, it's really quick to make. It's just different because you got to really pay attention to how much uh, garlic you add to it. 
Oh, sure. I actually did try, I tried a microwave version of like Shabu Shabu Hot Pot. Um, mm -hmm. I tried like one of those videos that I saw on Instagram and it actually didn't turn out super great. <laughs> I was kind of sad. <laughs> you know, I've never had, had a hot pot. I've never had a hot pot. <gasps> oh, and, I love he and, hot pot. So, like, what would he put in the hot pot, you know? Well, don't, like, well there's... There, there's different ones. That because, like, for example, yeah. like, my friend had a uh, birthday party, and we all went to this place to get a hot pot. Mm -hmm. And while we were there, like, the price is kept going up and up it was going to be like what was it like 60 per person or 70 mm -hmm. per person and we were like no and then we just left <laughs> even then we just left because yeah. you know how they have like the lunch and then the dinner men like prices and then but then but for this time they had like that plus like something else I guess so everything yeah. was being charged extra and I was like yeah I don't think this is like worth it yeah, there's some so of them where they have, like, yeah, there's some of them where they have, like, tiers, right? So they'll have, like, a first menu that has all of this included, and it's, like, tier one, and then a second menu where it's, like, all of this included plus the tier one menu, and then, like, they go up, like, levels like that, but yeah. I think, yeah. I think, I think, I think the cheapest thing they had there was $50 as far as the levels, and then the one that you would actually would want to eat that had the good the good meat or the good stuff inside of it was seventy, yeah. and then you know you know the top tier was like ninety, and it's like you know, like especially for me and someone else who was there who's never had hot pot, you don't want to spend seventy dollars on something that you know you never had something similar to. Right. You know? Like, because, like, if you go outside out for a steak, whatever, if the steak is $70, it's like, hey, no problem. Or if you go to a, a KK barbecue, it's like, hey, I got a variety of options, you know, to play yeah. around with <laughs> what I'm going to enjoy. Instead of saying, here's $70 for a hot pot, you never had it before. And the restaurant, you know, being like a two star, you know, and taste wise, when you taste it, not knowing that, you know, yeah. yeah, not knowing what it's supposed to be. See, I just, uh, it was actually Nicole Doshi that took me to, oh wait, no, sorry. It was Kazumi that took me to my Ooh. first hot pot. And ever since then, I've literally been addicted. I, I just was that. like, well, I'm trying it. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's like probably my favorite thing. And I get it, so I'll get it delivered and then I'll cook it like on the stove at home. And I love it so much. <laughs> oh, I love doing that. I feel like that's the best way to like reheat things. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. See, I like I like stir fry making stir fry from home. I actually got an unused. Uh, what do they call it? Wok. The big huh? Wok. I got an unused wok that I purchased specifically for somebody. I'm not gonna say no names. Uh, to cook uh be some food. And uh, they haven't used it yet, and I'm getting growing a little impatient. And <laughs> I haven't even been there yet. Okay, like you I have. haven't been there since you got it. No, you you've been here most of then. <laughs> Goodness. Okay, so next time I go, I have to make some stir fry. Yes. Um, I was bragging that like I feel like I'm pretty good at making them. You know, like not just yeah. like Panda Express style, but actually like trying to make something decent. You know. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. what, if, what, again, what? I feel like if you put, I mean, just, you know, meat, and veggies, maybe some rice, and if you just put some, like, sweet soy and oyster sauce, you're golden, absolutely golden. Exactly. I'm huge mm -hmm. about putting the oyster sauce. Yeah. So I, so I have to buy oyster mm -hmm. sauce. That's what, everything yes. you said I have in the house except for oyster sauce. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, sesame seed oil, too. So what? Yes, for real. Sesame seed oil. And then I always top it I with sesame seeds at the end, you know? Yes. I have that oh, I'm so hungry now. <laughs> I made I made one of those uh one of those meals off of uh Instagram of like mm -hmm. the uh the mini burgers and it, it mm -hmm. called for random sesame seeds. And it's the first time I actually purchased an actual sesame seed like a thinking I'm like this is different 
Because <laughs> I'm so used to only eating sesame seeds when I go to a restaurant. I'm not used to putting it on a burger when I'm at home. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't buy, I don't buy okay. buns. Like, I normally don't buy a lot of buns sometimes. So we just use bread for our cheeseburgers. You know, yes, we're we're poor. You know, we're not trying to be. Well, excited. he tends to use potato bread, so I feel like that kind of also makes a difference. You know. Oh yeah, it's so definitely you, a little thicker. Did you ever try like... potato bread? Yeah. Okay. Oh no, yeah. No, no. You had that, potato but... bread, but not PB and J or tomatoes. <laughs> so I had a like a boyfriend back when I was like in high school or something and he would only eat potato bread for some reason so yes. like anytime I was at his house that's all like they had <laughs> okay that makes sense I, See, I, hear I, didn't, like I didn't know about potato, potato bread until I was uh until I lived moved to Sun Valley like Sun Valley like in 2010 and like I saw this like Sarah Lee pumpkin bread and I'm like you know what? I want to. I'm gonna be fancy for a second, jokingly, jokingly buying it, so I can say I'm fancy to my roommates and say, "This is mine. This is mine. This is my fancy bread." And like, I'm like, "Oh my god, this is this is this is really good." <laughs> <laughs> He's and like, so, "Oh shit!" And so now I mainly only eat wheat and potato bread. You know, mm -hmm. it's just so much better for you. Yeah, I can't do wheat though. It's just so boring and. I used to get like my family would like force us to eat it like growing up, so I just can't do wheat bread anymore. <laughs> well, that's that's why I, I like a honey that. wheat. I like the extra sweetness to it, but not just regular. Yeah. See, I didn't like wheat growing up, but when it came down to like you know making sure that I'm a little healthy, I had to uh you know change the like I re I rarely uh, buy white bread now, and it was just because I had to make sure I'm healthy. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. it's definitely healthier, but it doesn't. It's not better, as good. <laughs> right? But it's better to adopt healthy habits earlier, you know. Oh, I, I did. Fair. I did it. I did it in my forties. So. Yeah, but we're we're trying to tell everyone else, okay? We're trying to promote healthy habits here. She's like your forties. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm in my forties. I'm old. I'm old, old. You know. Okay, but we're like half your age. We're over here in our twenties still young and luscious so we're gonna keep eating healthy so we can yeah y'all 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 some late 90s people i was mm -hmm. i was i was in high school when some like some of y'all were born mm -hmm. no 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 i was i in, think I, I think you had said you were like you graduated when i was born i know i'm not that old now don't don't try to make me old <laughs> <laughs> no i you, yeah, I, I was i've been using my nickname longer than you've been alive yes yeah, because I see, I'm like, I came out in 97, you know, like established. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? <laughs> exactly. and I've, been, I've been using the name Raw since 96. Goodness, right? That's, That's so wild. Thing, right? And see, it's funny. One of the things to think of is like, yeah, we may be young, but obviously, yeah, there's definitely a lot of like adults younger than us. But um, I have come to realize that I am older than Google and I am older than Wi-Fi. So question. So you, you have been around for three, four years, but is there people who you have not worked with that you want to work with? Oh, give me, give me, give me, a, give me a top five. Okay. And I, I used this analogy last time. So let's say uh, you have 25 cents and yes, five people. And you and each performer in the in the industry period costs five cents a piece. You get twenty five cents. It doesn't matter who it is. You can use it all at once or whatever. Who is your top five? Okay. Um. For some reason, off the top of my head, um, I met Van Wild in passing on set, and I would love to work with him. So that's one. Ooh, okay. Um. Yeah. Are you working Girth with Master. No, but I've heard of him. Okay. I think my number two would be Girth Master because I like girth. <laughs> yeah, you love you some girth to it. Mm. Yes. Um, um, let's think girls. Of course, I mean like legend Asa Akira. I have to. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I think the Asian representation would be crazy with that one. <laughs> Definitely. Um, who else? I'm trying to think. Oh gosh. If you want some Asian, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, I would say David Lee. Have you yes, filmed with him? Yes, so I've worked with David Lee and I actually get to work with him again tomorrow. So that's really <gasps> funny. <laughs> oh yeah. What, so about, what, about, what about Leo? Oh yes, so I've worked with Leo a few times. So. Okay. Yes, okay. I love Leo. Um, I'm trying to think of... See, my problem is like I try to round up people like <laughs> as much as I can <laughs> already. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, I've already worked with her. Like I wanted her and I worked with her. Mm -hmm. You want it, but and you got it. I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying yes, to think yes. of mm -hmm. Asian performers that I do know because I think you've already worked with uh, Marika. Yes. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know who else. I can't think of like. See, I've worked with Marika, Avery, Jade, Lulu, Vina. I mean, I feel like that's pretty much, you know, Kazumi, Nicole. So I'm like, oh, uh, like, who mean, else is there? <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, there's there's content creators that I know um, that are Asian that are doing their little rounds, like Jasmine T and yes, stuff like and that. and I've worked with Jasmine and Lucy Mochi um, in April. And, so, uh, oh, oh, I know one. And you worked with uh, Stella, too, so. Yes. So um, one of the Asian angels, that would be my number four, um, Christy McFit, okay. I think. Hmm, okay. I, 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 know, I, like, I know what who the Asian angels are. I mm -hmm. don't know all of their names. Yeah. Right, right. Because like I always, as I always, I play video games with two of them a lot. So mm -hmm. I mean, being, uh, being uh, Jasmine T and Tofu, play uh video games together a lot so oh i will make tofu my number five. <laughs> oh yes she is yes awesome. she's tofu, so cute tofu is an absolute sweetheart ever since yes. i met her so and i think they were they were standing next to each other at the uh x3 they were yeah side, they were side by side at x3 this yeah so. she's so cute Actually, like, I couldn't help myself, you know, I was just like, I just want, yeah. I just want to tell you, you're so pretty. You know that, that shy moment where you want to go up to someone and just like, I, I even, even though you're in the same industry, it's like, yes, I yeah, have you it's, like, it's, 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 like, it's like double like dutch, that. like you weren't like, you're waiting to tub in, like, yeah, yep. just like, okay, <laughs> don't wanna, don't wanna, I just want to come say hi. Oh, yes, I had the same thing this year because me and Lulu were literally next to Ellie Clutch and Chloe. And mm -hmm. I was like, I want to say hi because they're so pretty, but like, I'm so nervous. So I literally never said it. I just was like, hey, say no yeah. more. <laughs> I, I can't like that I learned, I learned the fact that like the most someone can do is just ignore you. And you could tell if the conversation is going to go anywhere after you say hi, because some people are get really excited if you say hi to them, and then like some will remember you randomly, like afterwards. Yeah. Because I've met I've met some people once and said, "Hey, how you doing? Hey, I'm doing great." And that was a whole conversation. Mm -hmm. and the next like random next event they saw me at at we just ran up to me, gave me a hug. I'm like, we spoke for like two seconds. But okay, yeah. what's going on? What's going on? and that like I'm like now I made a friend I made a friend for you know life whatever from oh uh, yeah this that random hi <laughs> exactly that that's what makes it so fun you know because I think a lot of us tend to like we feel like we were those misfits in like in school or something like yeah. that you know and we currently yeah. feel that way we're like the misfits of society. Very true. Very mm -hmm. true. I was sorry she said that. And I'm like misfits. The misfits. The misfits. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but you said you said everything you have coming up. Uh, where can anybody find you, support you, do everything that they can do to spoil the mess out of you? If, oh. like, if somebody if somebody wants to come out right now and buy you a car, where can they send? Where where they where can they uh support? Well, all of my social medias and all of my fan sites are always linked at onlykimmy.com. 
Drinks. Okay. And Love uh, it. Miss Sarah, where can they find you really quick? So you guys can always find me on IamSarahLace.com. All of my links and my social medias will be on there. And you can find us at the Barbarian Fist on Instagram, Barbarian Fist on uh, Facebook, and on the, the Twitter, the X. Uh, and BarbarianFist.com, that says everything we do from fitness, from photography to videography, uh, Sarah's links. Uh, you will also see our merch store, which is up now. You get also Mm merch. -hmm. And uh, you can find uh, me at Rawstar, R A W S E A R R, on Twitter and on um, Instagram. Kim, Mm -hmm. Kim, you are an absolute doll. You, you are you are awesome, and I really appreciate you spending uh, spending your time with us today. And uh, yeah, thanks again. And I look forward to seeing all the great, amazing things that uh, you're well deserved to get as we go forward. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. See you all next week. <laughs>